Hey guys, Brandon here with Exotic Diecast, bringing you guys another review, this time on the Maisto 118 scale Porsche Carrera GT. Uh, this is, uh, like my other cars, the, uh, the, the ones I got on Craigslist, it was for $40. I got this and some other ones, uh, we'll go watch some of my latest reviews, and those are the kind of like the cars, the Craigslist cars, as I will refer to them. Um, but anyway, if we read on the bottom here, it just says Porsche Carrera GT scale 118 Maisto made in Thailand. Uh, and yeah, that's pretty much it. There's there's not a year on this one. The front European plate uh, says uh, SGT 2003, but uh, I don't believe they made the Carrera GT in 2003, so that's kind of weird. I don't know. Uh, so you guys might remember that I have, uh, I'll go ahead and zoom out so I could go on frame here. You guys might remember I already have a Porsche Carrera GT, but what I didn't know when I bought it is it is the prototype version. Uh, so I will go ahead and place them together here and you guys could probably already see some differences. Uh, so I bought this going, okay cool, I finally got a Carrera GT in the, in the diecast collection and then it right off the bat kind of looked a little weird to me. Uh, these lights just looked a little bit too sharp, the, the weird fog lights and just a couple differences. And then I realized that this was the prototype version while this was the production version. I like the production better, a, like a lot better, just looks better and, uh, and also uh, the red looks a lot cooler. Um, considering I already have a silver uh, 918 Spider, so this kind of contrasts it pretty well. Um, we'll just go over some of the differences with the prototype versus the uh, the production. Right off the bat, like I already mentioned, uh, this has fog lights right here, while the production does not. This these sharp lights, you know, they're just too sharp. These headlights and the way the bulbs are placed are much more realistic. Uh, what else? These side mirrors just go on way too long. These are like really long, while these are kind of short and stubby. These are much more realistic. Um, what else? Right off the bat, um, we'll go ahead and uh, and flip them around here. Side profile, not too much different. Just the door handles. Um, and then I painted the wheels on this one black because it makes the yellow pop out a little bit more on the brake calipers. All right, but facing back here, go ahead and uh, zoom in a little bit more. Place them a little bit better. Um, okay, so you guys can tell that uh, that the engine on the prototype is exposed a little bit here versus all mesh right here. Uh, I like the all mesh much better in my opinion. The uh, the engine from here lifts from the spoiler and looks like that versus this one does not lift from the spoiler. You kind of have to uh, turn it upside down to get it to go out. There we go. And there it goes. There we go. And then it only opens that much, but the uh, the engine and everything else in general just looks uh, you know, just different and kind of better on this one. I already did a review on this one, so this isn't a flat out, you know, all out review on this. Um, what else? Well, uh, oh, one, one thing I did forget is on the front, <clears throat> the, uh, the seats are different. You guys can tell that this is the, from like, you know, the, where you would put like the, uh, the harnesses right here, the, the seats on this versus these kind of weird production seats, just a little bit different. And also when you open up the hood here, it's just, you know, plastic box really. It's that's nothing special here. Versus on this one, you open it up, and then you have this kind of like fake leather-looking quilted thing right here. And I guess that's more realistic. I really haven't looked in the inside of a uh, Carrera GT from the front truck uh, trunk or anything like that. So anyway, uh, done with the prototype. That just kind of explains the differences here. So just to kind of get you guys a shot with all the opening pieces. We got the uh, the engine, the front trunk, and the two doors. Spoiler does not raise on this one like it does on the prototype, but the prototype only raises up just a, like a little bit, not too much. Um, but anyway, yeah, pretty cool look to this car. Um, this is not a bad deal at all, paying $40 for multiple cars. These things are going for about $30 or $40 uh, pre-owned on eBay uh, from what I'm seeing. This red just looks awesome too. I definitely recommend it in red. If I could find a link to it, uh, I don't like eBay links because you just don't know when they sell and when they do sell, then the link is no good. I like Amazon. Um, so if I could find this, these things on Amazon, which, which I don't think I will, then I'll definitely got, uh, fill you guys in on that. Uh, but yeah, this is a very, very cool look uh, to this car with the uh, the red, the silver wheels, and the, uh, the yellow brake calipers. I really, really like it. Every angle on this, the carbon fiber diffuser, the, uh, the exhaust, I could definitely get close up to that. Overall, really, really cool. Kind of a short review. I just want to get you guys some beauty shots of that and kind of just explain some of the uh, differences with uh, with the prototype and production. Plus, they look pretty 
together. So, uh, anyway, I don't know if I'm going to be keeping the prototype. I think I have a buddy of mine who wants it now that I have my uh, production version. Um, but anyway, thank you guys for watching. Uh, next review and last f uh, review for now will be on the Ferrari F40. So anyway, uh, stay tuned for that. That will be uploaded tomorrow. Thank you guys for watching and have a good day.